Hello there, truth seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round because we've got some absolutely mind-blowing, jaw-dropping revelations that are sending shockwaves through the raw world. Strap in because what I'm about to share is nothing short of a bombshell. Brace yourself for a ride through the latest raw saga involving Meghan and Harry and the alleged second raw racist revealed in the Dutch version of Omid Scobie's controversial endgame. But stop right there before I discuss close all the juicy details, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Believe me, what's coming next is worth waiting for. So now before we dive into the nitty gritty, let me just say this one is a roller coaster you won't want to miss. Yesterday, the bombshell dropped when the Dutch version of Endgame hit the shelves, and it was like opening Pandora's box. The alleged royal racist, none other than Charles himself, was exposed at what can only be described as a royal scandal. But hold on, because here comes the second translation error. Or so they want us to believe, according to the Dutch version, Catherine, yes, you heard that right, the Duchess of Cambridge has been named as the second royal racist. Now, this is where things take a turn for the unbelievable. Let's break it down. Omid Scobie, the weasley little lickspittle, as some have aptly named him, claims innocence. He denies any involvement in the version, conventionally distancing himself from the controversy. But the real kicker is how Scobie plays the blame game, pointing fingers at Charles and Catherine. It's like a twisted game of chess. The Dutch version is being yanked off shelves faster than you can say roll scandal. Now let's address the elephant in the room, Meghan and Harry. The spotlight-hungry duo are once again playing the victim card. They've left the royal family, but here they are still clinging to the royal name, staring controversy. The alleged leaks, the supposed racism, it's all conveniently paint as victims, feeding the insatiable appetite for drama. But let's not forget the real victims, William and Kate. They're dragged into the scandal facing accusations about a shred of concrete evidence. It's a classic case of trial by public opinion. And here's the kicker, Scobie, the puppet master behind the grand spectacle, is reveling in the chaos. He may deny being friends with Meghan and Harry, but the truth remains elusive. If the lawsuit were to emerge, if discovery were to happen, who knows what skeletons might tumble out of the closet. The end game might be near, but it seems Scobie has underestimated the storm he's unleashed. Now, before I sign off, guys, I want to get your thoughts on this. Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.